Over the past several weeks, the number of people dying from COVID-19 inside Arizona prisons has continued to climb. News 4 Tucson's Lapita Murillo has been digging deeper into these numbers amid growing concerns about the safety of those who are locked up. Since the start of the pandemic, a total of 25 Arizona state inmates have died of COVID-19. Many of those deaths have been here at the Arizona State Prison in Tucson. It's very hard because we were scared. We were praying that he wouldn't get the virus. For Lillian Coppice, whose husband Wellington is incarcerated at the Arizona State Prison on South Wilmot Road, each day is filled with uncertainty. There have been more than 1,300 COVID-19 cases at the facility since the start of the pandemic. 10 inmates there have died. Since the beginning, he told me, and like at the beginning of April, I remember him telling me, I am going to get it because it's impossible to social distance in prison. It is just impossible. COVID-19 has hit Arizona prisons hard. At the Yuma prison, where so far more than 800 inmates have tested positive, it was recently learned that the warden himself was infected. He later died from the illness. This as state corrections leaders work to try and get a handle on the pandemic. I think it's fair to say that their response is below the expected standard of any institution that's responsible for people that that can't really provide for themselves. Veronica Torres spent 25 years, a life sentence in prison for murder. She now works with the Puente Human Rights Movement. Torres knows firsthand what life is like on the inside. Now with the pandemic, she says a bad situation has only gotten worse. When prisoners try to grieve the medical process or the COVID conditions in the facility, the grievances would disappear um, and it's impossible for anyone on the inside, you know, to be heard. Making things even more difficult, as is the case with hospitals and nursing homes. Families have not been able to personally visit their loved ones who are inmates, and it's unclear when that will change. It hurts, and I think that's with anybody when you miss your family, but in there it's a little bit different, especially now with COVID. The Digging Deeper team wanted to know why there were so many deaths at the Wilmot Prison, even more than at other facilities with more inmates. In an email, a correction spokesperson told us, quote, ASPC Tucson has some units that are medical facilities that house inmates with more significant medical issues and needs. All inmate deaths are investigated in consultation with the county medical examiner's office. Director Shin and ADCRR have followed all CDC and ADHS guidelines throughout the pandemic and continue to do so, end quote. Meanwhile, families like Lillian's aren't convinced they're getting the whole story when it comes to how many people have been infected inside our state prisons. Still, we see and we feel that those numbers are, are, are off. They are not reflecting the reality um, that our loved ones inside are, are having. State prisons aren't the only ones dealing with the pandemic. At the federal prison, also on South Wilmot Road, five inmates have died of COVID-19, and that's just since the beginning of this month. Digging deeper, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.